guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sophie in case you're new here thank you so much for stopping by so first of all it is almost half past 11 a.m. and that just simply means I am very 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 late for whatever activity I had planned for today I was supposed to have left very early but what disoriented me is I was supposed to meet a new friend today um, She's here, she's also new around here, and she doesn't have many friends, so she usually helps look after some kids. And one of the kids that she's staying with got sick, and she caught whatever the kid had, and because of that, she was unable to join me. So me, first of all, I'm stepping out this late. Despite being late, I have gone back upstairs to change my bag. I was carrying a black bag, but then the fashionista in me could just not, you know, get shake the check the fact that I felt the bag was too dark for my outfit. I'm predominantly in red today. I'm wearing some red sheen shoes that I absolutely love. I bought them um, quite some time ago. You might have seen them from a video that I recently posted. I love these shoes. I wanted them so much um, and for so long. They are Mary Jane shoes and um, yeah, they look really, really nice and they're very easy to walk with. So that's why I'm happy I'm wearing them because they're going to help me walk very fast to wherever I'm going. So the funny thing is, it's it's been very sunny for the better part of the week, but I was told towards the weekends it gets cold. Like people usually just know what weather to expect. So I wore two sweaters and I'm feeling very, very cold. I wish I wore a jacket and I just do not want to go back again. So I think I'll brave the cold. So as you may have noticed, um, me being late means I am talking faster and I am walking faster. I won't vlog my way, um, you know, to where I'm going. Um, yeah, even though I won't be meeting the new friend that I was supposed to meet, I am meeting another one later at night. Um, yeah, at seven o'clock. So I will go meet her at seven, which is why I don't feel too bad about being late. Uh, right now I'm not being able to vlog because I'll still vlog late in the evening. So for now, um, there's zebra crossing. I need to cross the road very quickly and proceed and by the way when i was taking my photos because i being late i already took my outfit photos so that i do not feel the need to take them um, at some point there's a man who passed by with the biggest dog i have ever seen like i was so scared it looked like a wolf but then for some reason i found it a little cute i usually don't find animals cute because to me animals are just animals and i've had very bad experiences in the past but um that one was nice so let me just walk very quickly i'll catch up with you guys later So guys, I've walked so fast, I've gotten to this point quicker than I thought I would, but I'm literally sprinting because I'm late and I have so much to do. So guys, I'm not in Europe to shop, but how am I going to ignore all of this, um, all of this amazing shops? I'm here more for the experience because I came with like almost all new clothes, but I, I really don't know how long I can hold it. At some point, I'm going to have to give in because I'm surrounded by Mango and Primark and Zara, all the European stores. Now, um, the thing is, they don't look as okay. I, I love looking at clothes just that uh, I realize that a lot of the clothes there just look alike and today because it's cold I think there are less people on the road So guys, I couldn't resist. I've passed by this iconic, iconic statue for a while. Um, this is the statue that symbolizes the running of the bulls, which is a story that I will be more than happy to tell you about. Uh, Pamplona is known for the San Fermin festival that happens in July. Unfortunately, I won't be here in July, but uh, it's, a, it's literally the running of the bulls. It's something that's been happening for years, and it was written about by Hemingways. I will put a very nice voiceover telling you about it. 
but for now let me just show you around this nice little statue it's not the first time I'm seeing it I think I put a snippet of it in a video that I was doing some time back but yeah look <laughs> like this is iconic literally iconic and this is something I love about Europe everything is iconic And who knew the best use of my tripod would be in Europe? So this is how it looks like. Nice little statue or a nice big statue. So from here I'll proceed. I think I'll take more footage of this place much later. Tomorrow I'll go this side, hopefully. So this statue, like I mentioned, is a very, very iconic statue. It is called the Monumento Al Encero. It's bronze in color and it was created or sculpted by somebody called Rafael Huerta. So um, the statue, of course, depicts the running of the bulls, which they say is one of the most, if not the most, daredevil event in Spain. It happens every July and um, it's part of what is called the San Fermin Festival. So this monument is located on the Carlos Tercero Street of Pamplona. It's quite huge. You can't miss it when you walk by it. It's amazing. It's amazing. And um, honestly, I think uh, the F San Fermin Festival started on 6th of July, 1994 and has continued over the years i think the only year it didn't happen was the covid year so of course i had to take photos here right in front of this amazing monument it actually has 11 bulls charging through the street like that is what is depicted here and of course the men over here that are being chased by the bulls this is actually what happens and i really really wish i'd be here for the san fermin festival but i don't think i will be in other uh other news or aside from you know everything about the festival this was my ootd for the day a red sweater a blue pair of jeans red mary jane shoes that i had been dying to wear and of course this burgundy bag so that was a look so they just there's just more and more and more shops bashka My decision to not go back for a jacket is starting to haunt me like it's so windy, so cold and um, I also brought somebody to take a photo of me there but at the town hall. I just couldn't resist it because it just looks so magnificent. But anyway, I'm almost where I was heading. Uh, yeah, almost. So guys, I just noticed another monument. Uh, yeah, this is another... Um, it's another very nice place and it has another monument that I think I should photograph and show you guys because why would I skip such a nice place, right? Yeah, it's actually a church, like an old church, another one different from the other two that I've seen before and yep. It has a restaurant adjacent to it. On the other side is another beautiful park that I will go to. But on this other side, there is another church. I don't understand why there are two churches, like, adjacent to each other. And these people think I'm American. I can, like, I can literally hear what they're saying and understand a bit. They're saying this is American behavior, but who cares? Right.
So of course I had to have my moment. I went to take some photos here on this background because it was just so lovely and I just felt like it's you know made my outfit stand out for a bit but there were people here that were so stubborn. Um, guys at the jobless corner so I ended up not taking as many as I would have wanted to but I really really love how this place looks. It's just beautiful. So seeing as I have finished taking photos, let's take a look at this beautiful church properly. Uh, first of all, that is a shop over there. This place is just amazing. So first, it's called, okay, well, Plaza de los, Plaza de los Recoletas, Recoletac Plaza. Oh gosh, forgive my reading. I am not Spanish, but pretty much that's the surrounding it also has those pretty windows that characterize most of the old buildings in Pamplona. And of course the beautiful doors. Uh, it goes all the way. All the way. And there's a statue of the Virgin, Virgin Mary. It goes all the way. Like it's so nice. I would have taken more photos here, but I'll come back here with a different outfit because I feel like I've taken too many with the same outfit. And the cross is up there. So, I don't know if it's ever going to be open. But so far, that's what I can see. Also, that is a jobless corner. Like, they were asking me if they can take photos of me and whatnot. I wasn't interested because they look a little drunk. They've been singing and it's morning. But I hear those are usually immigrants, not exactly Spanish people. Um, and in like they're immigrants from South America. So they usually just... Oh God, someone just belched so terribly from that jobless corner. But like I was telling you, they're usually immigrants from South America. So this fountain has dried up. Yeah, those immigrants, they misbehave sometimes. No offense, but anyway, I've seen a couple of them so far since I got here. So if you can read this, I won't even try reading it. This is exactly what this is. Matthew. Yep, so I've been distracted. I haven't even gone to where I was supposed to go to. I don't even think I'll go there anymore, but yeah, let's see. It's just across the road anyway. Maybe I should just go still. <laughs> but let me pack up my tripod. This tripod has been my saving grace since I got here. It's so good that I carried it. I almost forgot it, by the way, but the life of a vlogger, a proper vlogger, requires that you remember such important things. So I'll just leave here and go straight to the church. Unfortunately, they usually just agree for people to film even inside the church. So no qualms. So I finally went into this church that I absolutely loved. From the moment I walked in, there was a very calming sensation in the church. And I love churches, by the way, especially the ones that I've seen here in Europe. They're beautiful. So this is a very famous one in Pamplona. It's not the main cathedral. It's not the cathedral at all. Uh, that one I'll show you in a different video. But there was just a calming sensation inside of this church. The decor was beautiful. It had so much... Um, so many pictures of San Fermin, who is, you know, of course, the patron saint of Pamplona and so much more. So I will leave you with the footage of the inside of the church. Thank you so much for watching this video. There is still a part two because this day did not end here. I had a part two of the day. I came back um, much later with a friend of mine. We watched the procession from the church and so much more. So this was the week before Semana Santa. So you can imagine how interesting the second part of the video will be. So watch the interior of the church. 
Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in part two of this video. See you then. Bye.